Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about stomp effects. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will explain to you very, very quickly. So on some consoles called stomp effects, some other consoles call it block effect or mask effect. It's basically a way to stop your active effect happening live or whether you want to use it for the tracking purposes, whatever. I will show you how to quickly create a tool or a button that will allow you to stop your effects. And I can actually show you a little bit more where you can actually stop the different types of effects rather than just all effects at the same time. So what I'm talking about is this. Let's say I have a playback that's running fixtures at dimming intensity, all spots, and they're running circle effect. What if I'm gonna tell you that I can select the lights and I can stop them with one button. So what I'm talking about is this. I can select the group of lights those spots. I'll open my effects window and I already created the button called uh, position stomp. So if I click it, it will stop it now. So I can now continue using the fixtures, positioning them, do whatever I want. And yeah, so they've got, I've got them full under my control. And whenever I finish, all I have to do is I can press clear and the fixtures will go back to where they were before running in my playback. So you may ask me the question, oh, where did I go actually? So I actually went to the effects window. So essentially I have created a um, so-called effect palette. Uh, I would call it more of a template that allows you to actually utilize it as your um, as a template for the effects, and I'm sure a lot of you haven't used that window, but today I'm actually diving into that window to show you how to use it for the stomp effects. And let's do it, and I'll show you how to actually create your own ones. So the good things about the effects window is, even though I call it as a palette, and, uh, and normally in the, in the manual it will be uh, called palette, I call them more as a template. So this is the general use effects that you can create and you can apply them onto any window you want. So I thought to make a separate tutorial about this, but nah, I'll actually today I'm going to show you how to use that window for the stomp effect. So what is stomp effect? Stomp effect is basically an effect, but with a zero size. So what you're doing is when you have an effect running, you essentially, when you select the lights and you apply that stomp effect palette, what you're doing is you're actually applying a counter effect on the same attribute that applies with a zero effect. So if you had, in my case, on this playback, I had a, a circle effect, which is the position effect. So then when I select the same group of lights and in the effects window, I use the counter effect. So if I press this one, it stops it. Now, if you go in the programmer and you go to the view effect, you will see that I applied an effect. doesn't matter whether it's a circle effect, tilt effect, that pan effect, doesn't matter. So I applied it with a zero size. When you apply with a zero size, the new effect goes above the currently running effects and it stops. So now you can select your lights, position them wherever you want and save them. That will be stored. And the cool thing is when you finish, you can always press, for example, five seconds clear and within five seconds, it's gonna go back. The program will be cleared and it goes back to the original playback where it was running. So how to create it? All you have to do is you have to select any of your moving heads because for example, if I wanna apply, uh, if I wanna create stomp effects for dimmer, then I wanna create, for example, separate stomp effect for position, separate stomp effect for color, and maybe make one stomp effect that will stop position color and intensity to work. In order to do that, I have to select any of group of my uh, fixtures, I'd say moving heads. I select the spots. Uh, I mean, just for the sake of argument, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select washers, okay? So these fixtures I'm not currently using. So, and then what you do is you hold the shift button and then it's gonna be the option called Add Effects Zero Size. You click on it. It takes you to the normal effects window. And this is the trick. So here you choose an attribute that you want to use as a stomp, a stomp effect for particular type of an effect. So for example, if I wanna make a stomp effect for intensity effects, I will click intensity. I will choose any of the effects here. Let's say random chase. Okay, and now 
all I'm going to do is I'll click on effects window, I'll press record and I drop it here. Now press clear. Press set here and I type I stomp. So that means it's intensity stomp. And I'll do exactly the same thing. So for position I already did, I'll do exactly the same things for color. So I will select my lights, I will hold shift, press add zero effect. Here I'm going to choose color and here I'm going to choose, let's say, uh, just any of them, let's say that effect, RGB. So when this is all selected, I just unclick shift. Now all you do is you go back to the effects window, press record and click here. Now press clear, set here and say C stomp. So now this is what's going to happen. Let's say if I have a, a dimming effect running here, for example, if I select my group of lights, I'll press add effect, intensity, dim chase. So we have a dimmer effect running. I'll do uh, direction, for example, center out, doesn't matter. Then I will also have add effect, position, part, uh, position effect, let's say circle. And then I'm going to also add another effect for color. That's going to be, let's say, red and blue. Okay, so you can see I have three effects here effectively running in the programmer and I will record it here. So now when I run this effect, you're going to see that the currently the I, I see three effects running right now from this playback. Let's say for the argument's sake, I would like to stop position effect here. So I want to continue dimming effect. I want to continue this to run color effect and I just want to stop position effect. For this, I'll just select my group of lights. I'll go to the effects window and I click position. As you can see now, the position effect stopped and I can see now intensity effect and color effect running. Let's say I want to stop now color effect as well. I'll press color stomp and it stops now and it now you only have the dimming effect. Again, you want to stop that thing. You just press, for example, three seconds clear and in three seconds all goes back to what it was doing before. It's, it's, a, it's a really powerful tool if you're working live with a Magic Cube. And of course, the last thing I'm going to show you here, what if you would like to create a, a stomp effect that's going to stop any effect that's running right now. That's quite simple. All you do is you will select any group of lights. It doesn't matter because you've seen I created this effects using uh, uh, wash and I was applying them to spots and it worked perfectly well. So what you do is now you go to the effects window and essentially you just click on all your stomp effects that you already created. Intensity, position and color. All three effects have been added into the programmer window view effects as you can see here. Now you go to the effects window, press record and click here. And call it, for example, set intense uh, set here. I'm going to call IPC stomp. So now, if I want to show you example of how uh, the stomp effect works across all attributes, you if you raise the effect here, sorry, uh, I'll just select this. If I have this effect running, and if I'll select the group of lights and then go to the effects and I press IPC stomp, it basically will kill any effects that is linked to the uh, intensity, position and color because this is the what I have applied using the effects window. So now whenever you finish you can always press let's say 4 seconds clear and it will go back to that effect. So stomp effect is a really a uh, nice and powerful tool, especially if you're running live and you would like to have the, um, the tools to quickly stop your uh, any of your uh, current effect. Uh, there are other examples, of course, when I mentioned a bit earlier, if you're running something to do with um, uh, with the tracking. So when you are working with the tra tracking and you want to s record any of the cues with the guaranteed effect being stopped, you can always select the group, uh, 
run the stomp effect and then you record it as a as a hard value queue so that way you will know that when the tracking goes into that queue any effects will stop okay i hope that was useful and you learned something new today if you liked it please subscribe to my channel if you still haven't done it yet and i hope i um, hope to see you again to to watch my new tutorials that will be coming again soon Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.